I really enjoy training. Um, and so the shark training is a way for us to kind of monitor everybody in the habitat and how they're getting along. My name is Mark Murray. I am one of the senior saltwater aquarists here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. We have a lot of different species in the shark habitat behind us. So when we're feeding them, there's a lot of different things that we do to encourage them to come up. So when a shark is looking for their prey in the wild, they're using all of their senses as they narrow down on the prey. So usually one of the first things that they'll do is they'll smell it from really far away. And then as they get closer, they use their other senses. And so for the smell, we capitalize on that because I use a garlic additive that's a really strong smell. and so it increases their appetite because they'll smell that from really far away and then it's the same smell every time and so it kind of helps just uh, speed up that process for them to realize that it's feeding time. We definitely want to try to match what they're eating as closely in the wild as to what we could offer them here. And so now we feed them a variety of fish and we kind of rotate it around so they get either sardine, mackerel, blue runner. Uh, we do feed them squid too to give them more invertebrates and then sometimes we'll give them a novel food item as enrichment so sometimes we offer them salmon or mahi which is something they really like but doesn't usually match into their normal diet. So we want to make sure that they're all getting their set amount of food for each feed. We want to make sure that no one's getting too much food or too little food. We also want to make sure that they're they're kind of cohabitating really well. So with shark training we can kind of monitor that Typically we do a lot of classical conditioning. So like with our stingrays down in our touch pool, that's a lot of classical conditioning. So they associate a target with their reward. And so we also actually do that with the stingrays up here. And then we also do operant conditioning. With operant conditioning, we add a bridge, which is bridging the behavior that you're asking them to do to the reward. And that switches it from just kind of like this habitual association of seeing the target and knowing that if they come to it with food, it increases the amount of choice that the sharks can do. So we have lights that are on the targets for them. So that way when they come to the target, it's connected to a doorbell up at the top. So the trainers can push that doorbell and the light goes off. And so it's one extra step to help communicate from us to the sharks that they're doing the right thing, that they came to the right target. And then we can also do it with our nurse sharks. We just use a mobile target. It's just the GoPro that I modified to have a light in it. So when they come up and I push it and the light goes off, so that adds more behaviors that we can do. So we can touch them. We can ask them to hold their position so that way they can ideally sit side by side from each other and we can feed them all of their food or stretch it out so that way they don't get their food and then go and try and steal food from anybody else. And then we can add and change their behaviors as we start to see things come up. So we're getting ready to do a physical with them, we can kind of start adding a stretcher to it to desensitize them to being in a stretcher so that way they choose to come into the stretcher and it's not something that's stressful for them in any way. Uh, thanks for learning about how we train our sharks here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Come visit us and check us out, not only on Shark Week, but every week.